Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're talking about pinhole photography. What is it? Essentially, a pinhole camera is a camera without a lens and you can make a pinhole camera out of just about anything. Um, and let me start by introducing this camera right here. This is actually a commercially made camera by the Ilford company. Um, it's as simple as it gets. It's uh, basically a box with a small hole and a cover over that hole. So this particular model has this uh, magnetic kind of shutter basically covering up the hole or opening access to this opening. And if you look very carefully here, you can see a tiny little pinhole in a piece of metal on this box. It separates into two pieces and this particular opening is four inches by five inches, the perfect size for a four by five piece of film or a four by five piece of photo paper. And on the inside here, you might be able to see it a little bit better from this angle, maybe not, is that piece of metal here where the hole, the pinhole has been pulled. Um, this is, uh, as I said, a commercially available uh, pinhole camera, but much of the fun of pinhole photography is actually building your own camera out of almost anything. The camera itself can often become an art object. This is a very common uh, way to build a pinhole camera, taking um, a coffee can or a paint can, some kind of cylindrical can, a pin Pringles can, and um, drilling a little hole, getting a little piece of metal, poking a, a pinhole in it, and then you can put your photo paper right in here. The curvature of the vessel, in this case, the um, coffee can, um, will uh, distort the image in a really fun way. So let's jump into this. I'm gonna share some work with some photographers with you and uh, dive into what we're gonna be doing here for our project. Um, let's go, here we go, panel photography. Now there's a first video from Khan Academy. I'll link in the description of this video. And uh, it's a really great explanation of, of how it works. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, here we go. And let me move myself over here maybe. Let's go here and see if that works, there we go. Edward Levinson, so this is a picture made with a camera without a lens. I'm just gonna kinda go through these pretty quickly here. Jessica Ferguson, and you know, a lot of uh, pinhole photographers like Jessica Ferguson and others will make pictures and they, um, there's some sort of conceptual reason why they're using the pinhole. Um, but you'll notice that there are two things that make a pinhole camera, um, sorry, a pinhole image, a pinhole image, or, or, or that distinguish pinhole images from images made with lenses. One, is a general softness, that everything is just a little bit soft. Um, and the other is an infinite depth of field. And if you haven't really studied depth of field yet, um, then don't worry about that. But if you understand depth of field, you understand that the depth of field is, is, uh, is infinite or nearly infinite on pinhole images. Now this picture I think is, is good to note because it's actually negative. It's the opposite values from, say these pictures, um, from Heather, um, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna mess up the pronunciation on this, I'm sure, Pala uh, Palachek, let's say, Palachek. Um, so the sky is white or bright, and that's typical of most black and white images. And here, Spiffy Tumbleweed's image, the sky is black. And if you understand how photo paper works, this image makes a lot of sense. Photo paper, when it's exposed to light, becomes dark. Photo paper that doesn't receive as much exposure or much light remains white. And so this is actually how the image typically looks when it comes out of a camera, if you're making an image with a uh, paper negative. Um, you can see that pinhole isn't limited to black and white photography. Um, Chris Pinchbeck makes these beautiful panorama landscapes um, with pinhole cameras. Um, the cool thing about pinhole photography, again, is, is that vessel, is that camera. Here, Terence Dinan and Dominique Strubant created this pinhole. Uh, they dug a hole in the ground and created this unique exposure um, from, uh, from that hole that they dug in the ground. They put these pieces of photo paper down, made an exposure of the surrounding landscape looking out from that hilly ground there. 
really interesting stuff. Um, solar graphy is this very long-term exposure. And so this would be an exposure that's made over many days. And what's happening there, and I'll just move myself so we can see that it's a nice streak of light there. What's happening here is over many days, there becomes a, a you know, sort of burnt into the image before development, actually, it, the image shows up on the piece of photo paper. And so um, uh, it's a little complicated to kind of explain the, the full kind of process here, but suffice to say, these are pretty cool. Donald Lawrence here with, again, the, the camera itself is a work of art and it's not the most efficient, it's not necessarily um, the most sleek looking thing, but it really is unique and interesting in its own right. And the picture that is created is also very interesting. Um, Justin Quinnell's smiley cam. Uh, here's, a, here's a picture of the camera in use. Um, this tongue is eye view. Uh, bizarre and mesmerizing indeed. Um, so we can see the inside of his mouth as well as the, what's outside of his mouth. Um, so you can sort of get super creative here. Um, and this was another one that, that was really lovely. Um, the um, sanitation workers in Hamburg uh, created these garbage can cameras and uh, really the results are incredible. Uh, really beautiful, large format images. Uh, really interesting stuff. So some things you can experiment with, long exposure. Um, so if you have enough light to make an exposure of several seconds to a minute, you can have a person be moving in the frame. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, you can think about your um, perspective or your point of view, a, a bird's eye view, a worm's eye view, um, et cetera. Um, these kinds of things I think are pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, and so for our project, what we're going to be thinking about is continuing to use the darkroom um, safely and responsibly. We're going to make a pinhole camera um, and we're going to create a, a series of negatives. Um, and, you know, our conceptual goals, um, you know, thinking about uh, perspective, really um, thinking about getting interesting pictures. How do you do it? Well, I'm gonna, again, link this instead of watching a video within a video, I'll link this in the um, YouTube uh, comments so you can kind of view this camera on your own. You can make a camera out of anything. Um, hollow out a watermelon. That's from one of my favorite movies, The Brothers Bloom. Uh, there's a pinhole camera in that. Uh, movie that 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 is used to great effect. Like I said, the coffee can, you know, something like this works great. Um, any box, a cereal box, an Amazon box. Um, the key is that you want to make the pinhole out of metal, and um, a uh, an aluminum can typically works well for that. Um, and using a, a, a needle, a sewing needle, to poke that hole. Um, that's really, uh, you know, any kind of box, any kind of vessel, and then making that piece of metal and just taping it, um, and then making it light tight so no other light comes in, right? The great thing about these coffee cans is that, you know, they're designed to be, you know, there's cardboard on the outside, but there's some metal inside. They're designed to keep coffee fresh for a long period of time. So they're designed to be light tight. Um, you know, uh, a water bottle, that's clear plastic, obviously, that's gonna be more difficult to make light tight. You're gonna have to use a lot of black gaffer's tape, which is not the cheapest thing. Um, but yeah, you can use black tape to make anything light tight, um, but think about finding something that you can um, open up, you know, so soft enough that you can cut out an opening for that piece of metal to go in or onto, um, as well as, um, you know, generally being light tight so you don't need too much black tape to uh, create that vessel. So um, there you go, pinhole photography.